What? Your f what is the purpose of your face? I don't know why you're filling. Well, you you're gonna do this project, and I film projects so people can learn from them. Okay. Lily, trying to film. <laughs> so what are we? What are you doing? What are we doing? I'm building a mini treadmill for like, like cars, Lego cars, other things that roll, or really whatever you want to use. Like and you said in horses and you want to walk your fingers on it. I don't know. You've yeah, had a lot like of ideas. <laughs> you, had, you had a lot of ideas. Anyway, point is, is I told her that she can do it. I'm tired of building stuff for them. Granted, I enjoy it. But I got my own stuff to build. So I'm going to help you build your project. So the first thing on a project, what do we do? What do I always tell you to do? Sketch it out. Put it, put it on paper so we can see it. Like a blueprint. I can build mine in head. Like a blueprint. That's right. I can build mine in the head pretty well so I just do it. But... Oh, it's good to write it down so you don't get confused. So you got like all kinds of stuff here. So anyway, what's up everybody? It's Russ with RW's Research and what's your name? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Riley. Oh my gosh, she's so lost. We've made a video. What? Dexter's in here. <laughs> you guys are nuts. Alright, see ya on the next phase of whatever the heck this is. What are we calling this? Drive me out to more. The mini motor. Mini motor? Like Finger exerciser? Anyway, all right. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> yes? I don't know. It's your project. We have all our... Speak up. Things. We have what, all our what, what? things. We have all our things? That we're going to use for the treadmill. Well, I don't think we have them all. Just... We kind of have it planned out. We have a... We have, we have structural things. Some rollers. And that's really about it. We don't have anything else. So, we, we revised your master plan. We got a semi-parts list back here. Um, so we're going to go with 18 inches long, 7 inches wide. Uh, we are going to have a... We need to draw it here. We need to draw the motor and the belt. Just well, like, I didn't know it was going to go inside there yet. What the heck is this? What the... Anyway... <laughs> Um, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna put a belt on the motor and the actual roller yes. because we need some reduction. Me and Riley just learned about RPM and torque yes. and ratios. So if you guys are interested, we got a 10 to 1 here. So for every 10 this turns, this is gonna turn, turn once. One. Granted it's not actually a 10 to 1, but my example is 10 yeah. to 1. So our RPM is gonna be 10 here, which means it's going to be 1 over here. And our torque is going to be 10 here, which means it's going to be 100 there. I believe the torque ratio is exactly opposite, unless there's something funky I missed. But anyway, so that's what we're going to do. Um, because the motor we got is actually from an old uh, old school electric skateboard, DC type. So we got a big old DC 100 watt motor, which is most likely overkill. But uh, that's what we got because we can control it easy. So what we don't have on your list is the motor controller. I'm wanting to change the speed of it. Yeah, you want to change Instead the speed just of like it? One. Like a real treadmill. Yes. Um, so what we got here is we got a piece of polycarbonate. We're going to stand it up like this. Yeah, hold it. Cut it in half. Hold it, hold it. We're going to cut it in half, like she said. And we're going to put this here. And we're going to put this under there. There. Figure out how to bolt it. And we'll have a belt there. Uh, and then this is going to be our like the platform the platform so it'll be the right size hold that best you can back there real quick <laughs> the roller will be here and that'll be your platform just like on a real treadmill something like that. it's actually gonna be out like that yeah and then uh, we've got some bolts that I threaded at one point in my life these are straight up pieces of steel I threaded I don't know how, why but it fits perfectly on there and then for holding things together, I was trying to figure out how to connect these together. We're just going to take a piece of pipe, conduit in this case, cut it the same length as this, and then we'll put a bolt through the conduit and literally bolt the polycarbonate together. Yeah. I think it'll work. Well, so that's the plan. So let's go figure out how in the world we're going to go cut this squarely and nicely. <laughs> I could get out the Rockwell upside down jigsaw there, which actually works really well. However, I'm going to try this all with a jig. I think it'll work just fine. Yeah, we'll try that first. I think I can make a straighter cut with that. Probably. So, let's go try it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no smiling. We're working here. 
Riley's drilling holes. She's never done this before. I so, this well, oh yeah, you have. So, there you go. And then get it close. Okay. You're gonna turn the machine on. You're gonna want to hold this hand here, down. Yep. That one you're gonna. I mean, you can turn it on first with this hand, but then hold that one there. There you go. That's fine. Now you want to push down while you drill it, okay? And now it should like line itself up. If not, you might need to move it. And then just go a little faster because you have to cut it. Okay, out. Okay, and do it again. Whoa. It'll line up a little bit now that you got it started. Okay, now remember, when it wants to go through the bottom, that's when it's going to catch. So don't freak out. Just push it back down if it goes like that. Did you see any wood? You did? Okay, go all the way down again. Make sure it's all the way through. Yeah, you're good. Right? No, you're not through yet. Yeah, it's fine. You just got to hold it down. I think you're through. You're through. So normally we would clamp this, but we're doing it freehanding because uh, we got the safety stock over here. <laughs> okay, I'll help you hold the other two holes. They're kind of on the ends. Huh? Now are you on the right? What? Okay. <laughs> Update. Show me. Take it apart. Show me. Show me. Take it apart. Show me. Show me. Oh, we cut set, that over, set that over there. We'll do that last. What we got first. That was the last thing we did. Oh. First we drilled holes in. Speak up. First we drilled holes in here so okay. that we could put our... Ooh, how do we do that? The... It's a drill press. The drill press. Yeah, but how do we make them all the same? We put these, we clamp these two sides together and we drill them all at once. Great, so you you need to speak up. <laughs> Alright, go on. <laughs> that was disgusting. <laughs> that was not speaking up, that was vomiting. <laughs> I didn't say vomit more. <laughs> And then we put, um... Wait, we didn't put those on there. I, I did? No. Huh? No, we can't. We had nothing to put on there yet. I'm very confused. I know. Anyways, we attached our rolls with... What, what, what are the... Those are threaded rods I made a long time ago. You made those? Yeah, they're terrible. Half inch threaded rods. Yes, and then we just put bolts to hold them. Nuts. Nuts to hold them. And then we cut some, we, yeah, we cut some pipe. With a? Uh, I don't know what that is. It was a pipe cutter. It's a pipe cutter? Yeah, I mean, we cut pipe with it. Yes. It was a pipe cutter, but it was really not made for steel, but it, it worked. Yeah. We didn't ruin it. And then we have a, a long nut? No, the thing that's really long with threads on it is a bolt. The thing you put on the bolt is a nut. So it's a bolt. Yeah. We put a bolt through there, and then we connected it with a washer and a nut. There you go. Okay. And lastly? And then we made this. How do we do that? Well, let's see it. Yeah, show me. That. Yeah, just show me how, what it is. We just cut slots through it. Yeah, we and use a we use a saw and just set would, up a little yeah. jig and cut it. And then this is just for our support for our belt, so that yep. way it doesn't have to just be sitting on nothing. Right. Like normal treadmills. Right. So it's pretty strong. Uh, it looks good. These things seem to fit well, and it's really rigid. Um, it doesn't have any, like, real flex in it. Uh, not anything to worry about. And then we're going to mount that up here in this empty void yep. somehow. <laughs> Probably put a piece of wood on there and yeah, mount it to the wood. And we got to figure out what belt, pulley, shiv, thing, speed, lots of questions. Um, so, there's your update. Ta-da! Yeah. Now it's bedtime. Yes. Good night. Yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> Looks perfect. <laughs> I'm only missing some stuff. <laughs> what you doing? <clears throat> I'm drilling. Show me. Do a little more. Do a little more. Do some more. More? Yep, I want to go almost all the way on. Almost. Do it, show me. Riley's using the Dremel to cut this hole bigger in a piece of wood that I found with a hole in it.
because <clears throat> we're going to use it as a motor mount. Okay, now. Oh, that fits way better, don't it? What? Fits way better, don't it? Yes. Cool. Uh, let's try it. If we need to go more, we'll go more. I think it's good to fit tight. We can tap it on there and keep it. Don't don't break the wood. Twist it off. Twist it off. You're gonna literally break that wood so thin. Good job. It's late. It's not late, but it is late for you. I'm tired. <laughs> it's almost eight. Eight is like your crashing out time. Yes, I literally cannot stay up past nine. So we got that done. I think we did show them that last time. So show us what we got done this time. This little round of work. Our, we mounted our um, motor. Nice. And we took a piece of wood and then we drew two holes to the side to hold it. And then we took a piece of just wood laying around. And if you can see, there's a hole already back here. We just had to drill it out a little more so it would fit. And then we took a... What, 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 what? Bracket. A bracket, and then we just put that together. And we put this uh, pulley on here. Yes, so we can strap it. I don't know where we're going to strap it. Yeah. Like, right here. I haven't found out if we even have a belt that fits this correctly. We just arbitrarily mounted it, yes. and we're going to make it work by probably printing a pulley on this side the right size or something. And we'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, what tools did you learn how to use today? I put them away. Just tell me. It's a, uh, a sandpaper. Dremel. Dremel? It's called a Dremel. That's the brand name. It's a Dremel. Yep. And I sanded that out. And yes. then I used a drill. Power tool. It's called a... It's called a... Drill. Um, Hand drill. Well, it's called a uh, power tool. It's a yeah. It's yeah. a it's a hand, it's a battery powered drill. <laughs> yeah, and I drilled out the holes, and then we um, and then I used like the same thing but with a screw. Yeah. What else? I uh, I don't know what that machine is called. Horizontal bandsaw. Horizontal bandsaw. Yep. So. Yep. And you learned that the blade just magically disappears and reappears. Pretty <laughs> neat, huh? <laughs> That's what I thought when I was a kid. I thought it just kept going and going, but it really just goes around. It just comes it back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this looks good. This is mounted nice and rigid. I mean, look at that thing. Um, so, it's great. You guys ready for bed? We're making it with two? Yeah, because the ending was like not even. Wow, this is a great ending to this video. They're talking about the new movie that we watched. Oh, I didn't watch. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>Hey, what do you think about our super safe child's toy? It's not safe. What do you mean? It's not. Put your hair in it. See no. how it, see how it does. See if it fares. Oh, no, my hair I need. <laughs> oh, we'll try Riley. She already she's got like three inches of cut off. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do need to trim it though. Yes, I need to trim it. Like, well, let's trim it in. Here. Let's trim it in here so we can find out how safe it is. I'll go slow. I'm not putting my hair in there. Okay, fine. We were oh actually dolls. we were actually testing this. <laughs> we were like, you know, putting this in here and turning it on, finding out how safe it is. Totally safe. Didn't lose any fingers. Look. 